Your GCSE chemistry exam is tomorrow, so I'm giving you some last minute tips to make sure that you do the absolute best that you can in that exam. So let's get straight into it. My first tip is that if chemicals come up that you've never seen before, just think about what properties that chemical may have and how that relates to the other chemicals it interacts with. Ask yourself, is the chemical a metal? Did it produce a salt when it reacted? And etc. My second tip is to remember the reactivity series for your exam because you'll need to know whether certain metals are more reactive than other metals and therefore displace each other during chemical reactions. Here's a reminder of the reactivity series if you don't know it. It's potassium, sodium, lithium, calcium, magnesium, carbon, zinc, iron, hydrogen, and copper. Try to memorize this for tomorrow because it's so, so important. My third tip is to not forget to add your units, whether it's moles or centimeter cubed. These units will often provide extra marks, especially when there's a clear box saying add a unit. A lot of people still forget to put a unit inside there. Don't forget to add units. You do not want to lose those really easy marks. My fourth tip is that electrolysis isn't as hard as it looks. Make sure to try and go over it before the exam because although many people think it's really difficult, it's actually quite simple. If all else fails, just remember that positive is attracted to negative and vice versa and that electrons can't flow through a solid rock, can they? The substance must be flowing, so it has to be either molten or dissolved. My fifth tip is that I'm not sure if this is for physics or chemistry. It's most likely physics, but I'm putting it here anyways, just in case. But the questions on the model of the atom haven't come up in four whole years. This means there's a high likelihood it may come up in this coming exam. So make sure to revise it beforehand because that's, it's, it's probably going to come up. My sixth and very last tip is that apparently gas tests always come up in chemistry paper one exams. So make sure to look over some before the exam. For example, a glowing splint relights when held inside a test tube of oxygen. Those are all my tips for GCSE chemistry. You guys are probably going to smash the exam. Good luck and make sure to like and subscribe for more last minute tips videos. I'll see you in the next one.